Well, it's almost mid-April. We're well on our way into spring, but there's one problem, and that is that this snow will not leave. It's like a guest who stays, overstays a welcome for quite a long time. And we are getting cabin fever. I'll show you some clips of what I mean around here. You know when you get the last of the box of your favorite cereal? Like the other day I went to pour out my favorite and there was like five pieces left. Well, Amanda had a little bit more than five pieces, but it was the last of her very favorite cereal. And she got a nosebleed in it. So she'll be eating something else for breakfast today. Poor Amanda. So Do we? Gross. <laughs> and you're wearing a shirt that says Head Rush. It's a hardcore band. Yeah. The kitty will eat it for you. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> it sounds like shenanigans in here. I'm making oh, French toast. French toast. French toast. I emailed, I emailed the back and I said, I'm very aware of the way you and the other people Can you guys put extra gluten in there for me? No. We're trying a gluten-free diet oh, of with no. bread. <laughs> <laughs> and extra gluten. Texas toast. We don't have hair nets, but we do have the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and cinnamon? <laughs> Who would want to live here? I do, because I'm a frosty. Listen to the tree creep. The tree sounds like a cricket. See the snow? Come on. Look. Look. Here. Have a little piece of snow. There, on your head. <laughs> what is that stuff? He's all twitchy now. <laughs> There's no way he'll ever go outside, especially with snow. It's beautiful out there. It's cold out there. The sun can barely shine. What do you think, Mr. Coho? What's out there? Look. Look at this stuff. What's this? Ooh. Ooh. See? It's fun. You can flick it. Look. Oh, the tree is creaking because of the wind. We had 50 mile an hour winds overnight. Again. Commonplace for this area. Let's see what happens when you stand in snow. No? You don't like it? <laughs> mama bear. Use the mama bear. You got that for Christmas. <laughs> the cat thinks he's so cute. You know you're cute, don't you? I'm so sick of sniffling. Me too. Rolo, if you sit still long enough, all the snow will sit on you. He's becoming a snow dog. He, he loves the snow. Frosty. It must be an egg year taste. The cat's like, ooh, keyboard. I get to climb on you. I like climbing on keyboards. That's one of the we make better use of your fingers. And I know exactly who they're talking about. It's a guy from here because when I was 17 with youth group, I went off the charts. He let me in. 
There it is. That's the seed catalogs. This means there's a sign of spring in the midst of dead of winter. I love this. We get past the holidays and we are in the dead of winter where there's just nothing but cold weather and wind. And yet the seed catalogs arrive in the mail. So my dad and I always contact each other when the seed catalogs arrive. Because that and the fact that the days are getting longer are two signs of hope. The hope of spring. Spring and summer weather coming. In fact, it's a promise. And right here is the, is the evidence. All the seed catalogs are sitting here waiting for me to order and think about summer. This is one of the things in winter that happens that just makes me smile. It makes me very happy to see the seed catalogs come, especially when my dad calls. And he lets me know that his seed catalogs have arrived as well. Then we spend time talking for weeks about what we're going to plant and how our flowers bloomed last year. My dad and I, my dad actually... We both share with each other plants that, for instance, if we order five bulbs and they're all the same kind from the same company, we will give each other a couple of them so that we have similar plants in each other's yards. So there it is, in the dead of winter, we have the hope of spring. Who's sitting in my chair? You. That's my seat. You don't belong here. What? What? This guy is getting more and more bold, even though we chase him away. He sits there, even though I'm looking right at him. You don't belong in my chair. Get down. <laughs> He's so obedient. Psst, get, get out of my chair. Go away. Scoot, scram, scoot, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. There you go, good boy. Look, Sadie, look. Look, Sadie, it's snuggle time with Coho. So I just finished dinner. Karen made a very good recipe that she's uh, cooking out of this um, diet book that Kate gave her. And uh, Coho's snuggling with me. He's being all... He's trying to make up for his past sins today. He was climbing up on the kitchen countertop. And he was playing a little too hard, but then I found out Mason was also playing too hard. There was a bag on the floor, and both cats were getting in the bag and chasing each other. Yeah, you're a good boy, aren't you? Oh, you're so snuggly. Extra specially. Sadie, where's the hedgehog? Did you find it? Where's the hedgehog? Oh, Koho, you're just so affectionate. I can't even sit. You're pacing. No, no. Don't talk to me. Go find your head. No, you go find it. It's up to you to find. I hit it. You have to find it. Not that hedgehog. No, that's Rolos. Go find it, Sadie. Find it. No, it's not there. It's downstairs. Where's the hedgehog? Something we had to get for a dinner party over the holidays was um, ginger slices. And, oh, I am addicted to these. It's a dried fruit, and they are spicy and good. And they clean your palate. So in between meals or in between food items, you can actually eat one of these, and they have a nice spice to them. And I guarantee you, the first time you eat one, the ginger slice, you're going to not like it. But let it rest and get a glass of water. Then try another one a little bit later, and then you probably will like it. I won't give one to Sadie because they're a little bit spicy. And you aren't supposed to be at the table. There you go.
Here good boy. You're a good boy. You choose a good kitty. He's a good boy. I hear you purring. You got your hedgehog, Sadie?